to talk about today is how to fix a 2006 Kia Sedona. If you press the handle and it's kind of loose in there, it doesn't do anything. Uh, essentially what has happened is the spring is broken. You can diagnose that for sure by if you use the key and kind of fumble with the key a couple times and then you get that stiff handle back again. Uh, it only works for a couple days. Uh, the problem is that spring has failed. Uh, but before we start, I'd just like to introduce my cameraman. Here we go. Cameraman Tyler. He's going to be doing the videography today and helping me document how to fix this. Okay, let's get started. I and bought that online, so basically that's going to fix our hatch. This is about a $30 device, essentially. Going to replace the latch here. Alright, so first thing you need to do is you have to take out these clasps right here. I've already done it, but basically how you do it is you use a screwdriver like that and you pull up the part that looks like a Phillips, Phillips head and then this actually pops out. So there's one here and there's one here. Once you get that out, then you need to take out the screws here, here, and then there's a screw over here. So we're going to do that and we'll be back. All right, we've got this handle out. We've got these two bolts out, these two uh, fasteners out, and then we've got this, this screw out here. Now what you need to do is you're going to have to be really careful. I've already taken this off, but you've got to be really careful to pull this off. And then you can see you got a little room to play there. I don't know if you can see there. So you're going to push that up like that. You're going to take this screwdriver here, and you're going to take that screw out. Now on the other side, you're going to do the same exact thing over here. You're going to pull this off. This one actually comes all the way off. So we'll take the screw out of here. Like that. Now we've got these two screws out. Now what we need to do is this actually, this whole panel is actually going to come off. So you want to be careful because, oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot. You need to take this out of here. you got to take a screw out of here too. So you put your little screwdriver in here like that, lens comes out. Now there are two screws here. You'll take these out. There's a halogen bulb in there. They're quite expensive, so try not to break it. And you can see it's just going to come right out. Like that. Now there's a little clasp on there. Right there, I don't know if you can see that. but. You just put your thumb in there, take it out, off it comes off. I try to keep the screws with all the different things so I know what, what's coming with what. Now, here comes the difficult part. So I might need help from my cameraman here, but we'll see how it goes. Now you can see if you put your hand right behind here, this whole lid, this whole part will actually come off. Now you want to be really careful to support it because as you support it, if you come over here, Tyler, You'll see another little connector right here for this button. You gotta detach that the same way with the light. So you're gonna stick your finger in there while you're holding this thing up and try to get that out of there. And off it comes. Now the whole panel comes straight off. Lay it off to the side. Now, what we need to do is this back part right here. Come on over here. This back part here needs to come off. And the only way this is going to come off is if we take these bolts out here. So the first thing we want to do is take those bolts out. And I'll do that real quick. You're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to pull that bolt out. So you're going to get in there. All right, now on the other side, get another one. And you don't have to take the license plate off, so don't worry about that. And I'll pull this off here like that. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Up here, you'll see three brass screws. I think it's three or four. These screws are extremely delicate, so you want to be really careful when you get in there. There's one there. And then back here, there's, they actually situated these two screws back here that are going to give you access to the latch behind the motor operator. And it's a pain in the butt to put that thing back on. So I don't recommend doing that. 
over here, you're gonna have these other two screws. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws out. They look just like this. My cameraman will come over here and show you what that looks like. It looks just like that. And there are one, two, three, four, five. Five of these screws. So we're gonna take these out right now. Okay, so we've taken out the brass screws here. Now there's another part you gotta be really careful about. Back here, there is, right here, behind this switch, behind this plug, there's a little yellow, no, pull it back, pull, pull back. There's a little yellow thing, you see that right there? If you see that, what you wanna do is you wanna just pull that thing so it goes down, and that lever actually pops right out. You gotta take that out because this latch is, gonna, is what we're gonna replace. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the front. Now, you wanna be careful when you're pulling this off, there's another little plug that you gotta be be aware of, but this actually just comes straight off. There might be a little tug in the center, but that's okay, don't, you can kinda of put your fingers behind that and just kinda of pull it off. Now you can see this totally came off, we've got another little plug here we wanna detach, so we're gonna detach that. Now the design of this is pretty awful because what they've done is, as you can see, this is really badly rusted. So we're gonna be able to pull this off here, I think, there it goes, and it comes out like that. Now you can see what the problem is here, is this spring right in there has actually broken because it's so rusted. I think they designed this thing to rust this way because they put a rubber grommet on it to separate it from the, from the body, from the chassis. So they wanted this to rust, and it rusted and found up fa wound up failing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our replacement part, which is right over here, throw that away. Now we got our replacement part. Looks just like that. Looks exactly identical. This from Kia is like 125 bucks, and this was 39 dollars on eBay. Same exact thing. I'm going to put this in like this. This is going to go in. You put that handle like that. You'll see the screws line up and then you got to grab it. You're going to have to push a little hard there. Push that in like that. And now we've got a functioning handle again. So now what we can do is we can reassemble this part. We don't need to do anything more with this. So we're going to basically take this. I'm going to reconnect, reconnect the the switch there, this will actually slide on there, like this. So we will take this here, you line up your plastic guide, give it a little couple taps right there, and on it goes. Still loose. Right straight there. Now, since we've got this done, now here comes the critical part. These screws and these bolts right here are extremely fragile so you absolutely want to put these on behind here and hand tighten them you do not want to put these on and try to put your your uh, drill on them because what will happen is you will cross thread it and you'll damage it so we're going to put these on we'll come back all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to reattach this bracket right back here which will give us back our uh, latch protection. I just have to find it. There it is. So if you come over here, you'll see what happens is this little lever goes in here like that. You're going to push that in there like that. Close and then close the, you got to close this white thing. So you got to make sure that locks in place. That locks it. Now we can reconnect that. I just took this plug out so I could get better access to the screw. This one screw is going to cause you a lot of problems. Again, I want to just reiterate, it's extremely important that you tighten these screws. you got to hand tighten these first. Don't put them on there and thread it. Otherwise, what will happen is you will wind up stripping the screw and then you're going to have to get a whole new handle. Okay, so we'll be back in a second. So my videographer just told that is extremely important that uh, we don't lose the screws because we've done that a couple times. So put these things back on, just make sure that you uh, don't lose your screws. Alright, that's tight. I'm going to just do a couple hand tights, just a couple hand tights on that. And there's a wasp. Right, let's go back here. 
Jeez Louise. And we're going to tighten this one here. Okay. Going to do a couple hand tightens on that. All right. All right. We'll be back in a second. All right. So now we're going to do the second part of this. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a quick test and just make sure that this thing works as soon as I get this thing on. So we want to basically, first of all, we want to connect this here. This has got to be connected down there. You're not seeing what I'm doing. We're basically just plugging it in. It only goes in one way. So now that we get this on there, there's, there's four little yellow plugs that we need to get involved. lock us in place. I'm going to put these other two screws in too just uh, to make sure it doesn't break loose while I'm testing it, lowering it and raising it. So we're going to go back in here and just pull this up a little bit. Put this up temporarily. I'll fix that a little bit better in a second. We just want to make sure the door is going to work. So we got the door going down good. And it's not working. Okay, so uh, I just tried it and it didn't work. So I took it all apart again and all the mechanical functions are working the way they're supposed to. So the problem was that I had to reset it with the key. So I just basically uh, locked and relocked it. And now it's working. I can't test the, the switch because I don't have that panel back up, but uh, it looks as we have a now functioning door. That obviously would have cost a lot of money and 